welcome to the best damn. I just blew this. You just that, blew that. That's some bitch. Oh well. Bye um, bye. Welcome to the best damn book club. Go ahead on and apologize the for your eardrums, there, folks. Uh, maybe not the best production wise, but we'll we're best some category. Yeah, we're best in some I don't know. category. I don't know. Um, my name's Ryan Talmadge, and that's Davis Crocker. This is Two Idiots Reading Comics, and today we are reading Saga Volume Four. That's right. I kept trying to remember no, the no, name. No. Volume five. Volume, volume five. five. We've messed it up twice now. I can always take the beginning out. It'll be all right. <laughs> um, I always try to remember the name of the volumes, but this is like Saga doesn't name their volume. No, it's just they don't name their story it's arcs. Just volume five. So, yeah. Um, go ahead, credit people. I guess as always, we got a writer Brian K. Vaughn, artist Fiona Staples, lettering and design Phonographics, and coordinator Eric Stevenson. So, Davis. Yeah. Um, this will be the third episode of March for these people, but That's right. this is the first one we're recording for this month. Uh, you read anything good lately? Like what you've been reading outside of the five we're doing for this month? You read anything fun? So I think we touched on it when doing the uh, the Star Wars Bounty Hunter episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, they just finished up with the Star Wars Bounty Hunter massive crossover. Um, hunt for Han Solo. Uh, he was frozen in kryptonite, handed over to Boba. Boba lost him. Carbonite? What did I say? Kryptonite. God dang. I thought I was going to fuck up Superman. Man, carbonite. Uh, Boba loses him, and Boba's trying to find, get him back. But in doing so, you've got to deal with now the Hut Syndicate, all the other crime lords, uh, the Empire, and the Rebels trying to get him back. And it just it's tied in between... Uh, main Star Wars line, the Bounty Hunter comic, Vader comic, and Dr. Aphra. Um, it, it's just, it's fun. It's a lot of stuff. Uh, I, I'll look forward to when they actually release like a um, full collected, collected edition. That'd be cool. And actually do that in order. Speaking of. Because <laughs> cause in the back, it shows you, all right, this is the ones you need to read this month. Uh-huh. Then this is next month's. This is the order you need to read them in. I'm such a big fan of like, preferred or like when they put out hey read it in this order and you can do that with everything yeah and, and Star especially Wars now and it was well, huh. now that even main series marvel and dc reboot every three years i guess you don't really have to but I mean, uh, every year yeah um, feels like every year but speaking of collected editions whew, um yeah how about you and, and your extracurriculars yeah, right now um i i've read like i've gotten one thing knocked out on my reading list but I bought a bunch more, um, including the hardcover collected versions of pa- Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yep, by um, Boom Studios. We both missed out on the Kickstarter, oh. and so I freaked out and was like, no, I definitely want a collected version of that. Let me go get the ones they have been doing, because I think there's only like one more left that comes out this summer. I'm pretty sure it's like, it's like volume necessary, 6 yeah, came necessary out, comes out in Evil Part 2. April? Something, but then like after they can't release the hardcover until like the story's completely finished. Right, right. Um, so I freaked out and went and bought the previous five that have already come out. What I didn't know is that the first three are out of print, yeah. and so I spent more money. Uh, by the end of it, will be <laughs> more money on these five than or these six. Than uh, what like like the base tier, all six collectors yeah was gonna be on Kickstarter yeah better binding better everything just more comprehensive art and we were just like oh that's just too much money yeah um and then I've also I went I bought like the uh they have hardcover uh Invincible and I told you I bought Ooh, that the first yeah. one. It was you basically buy the omnibus the, or the just the no. Volume? They have the they have the hardcore or hardcover like deluxe editions, and then what you're thinking about is the compendium they put out, uh, where it's like one through fifty two, yeah, and it's soft cover. Okay, it's, it's um, all right. but the hardcover was only like the first three, but like everything we read on this show was the first one. Mm. But I went and bought. I already had the second, but I saw the third in my local comic book store, um, and bought that. And then now that, I mean, we read, we've been reading Saga or whatever, mm-hmm. and 
They have three hardcover collected editions. Now, Saga... But those are only I'm, like 40 bucks. I, I may go ahead and jump on the Saga train. Yeah. Um, I have a just, website. Uh, I can uh, show you. Yeah. Um, we have, I don't think we've talked about this YouTube channel, but like, I show up on my feed a lot. I just, sorry, I haven't like subscribed. <laughs> um, it's called Near Mint Condition or whatever. Uh, but their whole channel is comic books, but it completely focuses on collected uh like omnibuses Ooh, okay uh compendiums uh they might read single issues but they really fuck with the like uh, even bigger than what we do yeah yeah wow yeah. um and so like he will do his like top 10 collected uh that comes out this year where i find a lot of ideas for this honestly cool um but uh there's a website unfortunately they're all over his channel, so go check them out. Subscribe to them, but they don't pay us to advertise. So no, I'll yeah, tell you no, later. No, no sponsors. Yeah, um, I'll tell you later. Um, but there's a website that does specialize in collected versions. Okay. Um, and they're supposedly cheaper. Now, something I did find out uh, mm-hmm. this week: uh, getting Volume Five for Saga uh, on Comicsology again. Not a sponsor. Love the hell out of them. Wish yeah. they were. Yeah. Uh, they had on their main feed was mm-hmm. new issue of saga. Yeah. I'm like, Oh, maybe it's just volume, whatever. Yeah. It's they've collected it. Click on it. Issue 55, January 17th, 2022. Mm-hmm. They restarted or they have, they, they, they started it back and I they knew, stopped in 18. So there, there's been, a I knew three, they were taking a two break. And a half I didn't year. know it was going to be, they, they stopped. Cause years. I went back June, Oh, four eighteen nineteen. Yeah. Holy shit! Oh. Yeah, it is. June. They stopped in June yeah. of eighteen, and they just started back up in January of twenty two. So I knew because I mean it was like the most popular comic book at the time when we were in college, and I knew. Remember, like seeing like headlines that Saga creators uh, are going to take a break. Never expected it to be this long. Three and a half years. Yeah. Um. That's why I'm trying to get these three hard covers. I'm. I'm right now. Because if, if somebody. Especially with the way Amazon's doing, picking up Invincible, mm-hmm. the boys going to live action. No, this is that one though. I think I forgot where I heard this, but I think it was on Collider. Used to have a show called Heroes. It had a bunch of YouTube like movie reviewer personalities. I want to say I heard it there. Um, shout out John Snap, R.I.P. Uh, he was awesome to watch when I was like super into that channel. Um, but I want to say someone on there said the per the people who own the or like the writer and the yeah. author who split the rights to Saga. I want to say they said no one they sell it to would do it as graphic and like what we would do, and so the only people they would sell it to is like a porn company because they now obviously holy shit now obviously they take some liberties with it i would imagine they do more fucking they would just, than, if you get to a point like, they're gonna go porn yeah but it's like we know like no one out there is gonna go as far as we did now wow. they're like now porn companies would probably go even further but at least it's not gonna I mean, get bastardized that that would be the one thing that this one th- there's a lot of information in this yeah but at the same time it's not a lot of information, if you know what I mean. It, it's like, it's like each volume, you can read it and you sit there and you go, okay, it was names I needed to remember, but yeah. the events that unfolded uh-huh. were very cut and dry, like yeah. like like, like they're very easily to, easy mm-hmm. to understand, and so I would feel kind of watching Invincible, reading the comic, watching the boys reading the comic, uh-huh. you can see that this would be something that if they bastardized or changed up yeah. this comic it would really change up. Like if, oh, they, yeah. if they did on TV, if they changed up something in the show. I mean, we t- saw a show, dragon sucking its own dick in this that book. That was fucking crazy. Let's be honest. Like now, Amazon, they, they've they seen, they've shown they can go as violent as the comic book. Yeah. No, I mean, if, if we're going to go as violent as Invincible, where and Invincible's father literally holds him yeah. and kills an entire train. Yeah. And blood splattering. Yeah. A few tits and ass ain't going to ruffle anybody's feathers. Well, I hope it doesn't ruffle anybody's feathers. I, get, I mean... I mean, literally, it's, we're, I think we're it's more so the accustomed... people get upset about, but... Uh, we're so accustomed to violence 
Yeah. That we're fine watching him just murder an entire train of people. I mean, it yet, was shocking. Yet, but... yet about six women standing on screen with boobs and a dick flapping around is, is too much. Yeah. But I'm just thinking about, like, the boys. When we read it and found out... Because in they, the they show... Toned, they toned that shit. They toned the sexuality down. Granted, I don't think there was... Oh, there was tons of nudity uh, that they didn't show. But the violence... Amazon's apparently fine with the violence. Although, who is doing... Uh, Hulu is doing that Tam and, or Pam and Tommy show right now. Yeah, and I need to watch that. Apparently... Now, tons of fucking nudity. Full, like... Tommy Lee's having a conversation with his dick that they show. You know that that's um not just the dick being animated, whatever. Yeah. But uh, that they augmented pros- both of them. Like like, like his the yeah. penis you do see is a prosthetic. Yeah. And no, her I, boobs are are fake. And I like learned half of the. I learned that uh today listening to the Fat Man Beyond, but uh yeah the the tits she has are like fake tits over hers. Yeah. Because I was sitting there, I was like. There's, how I is not think she how died. is there a reincarnation of Pamela Anderson this much unless she got the tits for this yeah. show? I was like, she'd be Instagram. She what the fuck she doing there? She'd be Instagram famous slash OnlyFans like oh yeah billion, god. billionaire be a goddess if she, this is what she actually looks like. No, I don't. I've only seen her in the show. I haven't gone and like yeah, I have no idea doing. who she is. Yeah. I don't even know who the guy is. I just know you don't know who the I guy. Paid, I haven't watched the show and I haven't paid attention enough to. I mean, he's the fucking Winter Soldier. <laughs> oh, shit. Is yeah. it him? Oh, God. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, they got him. They convinced him to do that shit. Yeah, I mean, I imagine he got the okay from Disney. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, it, he looks like Tommy Lee, except Yeah, short. that's why I haven't, so, I haven't watched it or paid attention. Enough and I assume, even. like, anyone who could, like... I assume they're like, well, kids aren't going to watch this. Yeah, yeah. The Disney kids aren't going to really put but it. But I think Disney... I don't know if they own Hulu, but, like... That's who they partner with in their bundle, so I imagine they have some part of it. But, I mean, could Disney really tell him that he couldn't take a role in something? I mean, I've seen people in Disney get canceled for a little more political statements, but... Uh, well, that's a whole other issue, but... Yeah. Um, I could... I would imagine. Wow. I mean... And that makes sense. I mean, anytime, it would be... It, you, we hired you for your brand, and if your brand... I mean, alters what for the longest time it was very bad for even mainstream actresses to sh- show their tits on screen it's true unless you're working with hbo but i mean i don't know it's true but i don't know uh i don't know how we got to pam and tommy but uh it went there quick oh dragon sucking its dick oh yeah um but yeah that's the wild shit and saga i don't know this is, i don't know anyone who would uh do it faithfully. I think that's what they're. That is true. Was. I I can if, see that. If this thing I heard from a YouTube video like ten is years tr- ago yeah, oh, right. is true, right? Now, my big I've got one issue with this comic. Uh huh. Is the time jumping? It, it is the when we started this volume, okay. we they did address that it had been three months since Dingo the robot had taken. Alana, yep. Hazel, and the grandmother. Uh-huh. So we got that jump. At the end of the comic, mm-hmm. Hazel's been taken by the revolution. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the last page is her, looks like she's five, four, yeah. five. Mm-hmm. So we've got, but they don't address it. They're just like, oh, yeah, here's Hazel. I mean, they kind of do it. Like, keep up with how old Hazel's getting. They kind of do with Hazel's, obviously, the narrator. But every time she says it's gonna, it'll be years before I see them again. I think then uh, okay, then they kind of do a time which jump and they they're so fucking good. Every time <laughs> they tell you, <laughs> Hazel literally says, at, like at the beginning of this, my father's doing it, whatever it takes to find me, but it'll be years before uh, we ever reach each other. Yeah, and then. Marco lands on the planet at the end. Lands on the and I'm planet. like, yes, he's so close to his lands family. He's going to fucking land on the planet. And then takes off with Hazel. I'm like, she told the, me this was going to happen. Means, and it still hurts. Which means as he's seeing Alana. Yeah. Because the ship takes off. Uh-huh. And then all of a sudden, Alana, Marco calls out for her. Yeah. So Marco watched it leave. Yeah. And didn't realize it until he grabbed Alana. Yeah. 
and then stands there and goes. Well, Lana was holding the print, the yeah, holding robot. the pistol on the yeah. robot. But I'm, I, I, in my mind, but he, it's a baby she didn't sling, understand. Man. She didn't under he he didn't understand why she was doing it. Yeah. Other than the well, baby sling. No, I'm saying like. Yeah. She was holding a small child. He probably just assumed it was Halo. That is true. Until, but fuck. But you're right. It's just like, the whole time, it was Gus, Robot 4, mm-hmm. and Marco, and the druggy plant chick. Oh, my God. Uh, it's not important. Don't do it. I'm not editing Gwendolyn. this fucking podcast. Nope, nope. It's definitely not Gwendolyn. Okay. Uh, uh, Yana, Nana or Yana or something like that. We're good. I'm not editing this podcast. Let's go. Yuna. Yes, it is. You know? You know. Uh, like, the whole time, I was sitting there like, oh, well, Gus is going to the wrong planet. Like, that's where I was thinking it was going, is when she said it was going to be years before, I thought Gus was going to be... That, but then, I thought like, Gus was going to be going to the wrong scene. But when they landed, crash landed on that planet, and yeah. he was like, this is where they are, right? And he's like, I can feel the wa- their, your pet walrus. Yeah. So if they're in the same place, then yes, but... And then, and then I was, I was like, like, oh, like, yeah. But no, um, how about the will? I'm glad the will's back, but I did not see them killing the brand. Like, like what that, the fuck? That caught me out of nowhere. Like, what the fuck? I literally went, holy shit. I did, mm-hmm. I did a, I did a back page. I went back yeah. a page and was like, wait, hold on now. We, I, yeah. they, mm. um, Poor Sam, now though. when they awaken the will, mm. they say that he's been under for years. Well, yeah, you got to think at the, when he went under, Hazel was a like little. like an infant, right? Yeah, because like he went down, not even volume four, and at the end of volume three, was it even that? Yeah, it was volume three, and then uh, that's right because they were in their his ship robot. Like they landed on the planet yeah. that was fucking with their brain if they ate food. Yeah, the or the slave girl stabs him. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, she is yeah. a child. God dang. Because then last uh, volume was like them trying to figure out and meet the brand and all that. But So yeah, and Fuck. Hazel was an infant. And then when we pick up volume four, like they had been living on that planet for a while. Hazel had already gotten to where she can talk. And walk on her own, yeah. Uh, Lana was like uh, a couple of years into being on that TV show or whatever. Wow. So. Yeah, see, that's where the time... Oh, man. But other than that... Ooh, we got another fun fact. I got another statue to get you. Um, I got another minifigure for you. Spider bitches, <laughs> brother. I literally... Like, I thought we were fine, because I don't think she showed up last time. And I literally thought we were done, and I saw that, and I was like, God damn it. <laughs> but it doesn't look like he's sticking around, so I'm down. No, what was the thing he gave? It was some part Gwendolyn. of her ship that technically... some part of the the girl's tr- the the his sister ship. Yeah, that Marco that skull ship that Marco and Prince Robot were flying that is now ruined on the ice yeah. planet. Okay. There was something to track that or track them down or something. But uh, I would I'm upset. Like I hope obviously he's probably just freaking out. He just got. Brought out of whatever fucking coma. Oh. And then immediately told his sister was there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hope, like, that him calling Sophia Kant and now, Gwen and all that, like, that was my favorite group. Now, Hazel also narrates that to going, the will is about to lose his shit. Oh, yeah. Like, she narrates it like, he's he's about to go yeah. fuck shit up. So, I, I don't like know the- if that means he's going to go after Marco and them. I don't know. Go kill the dragon first, I'm sure. Yeah, probably. And then... I, I would have... Fuck. I just hope that group sticks together, because I liked them in the first three volumes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're fun. Um, so, the revolution takes Hazel. Yeah. We end the story with Hazel being on a landfall... Yes. Uh, prison. Prison. With other... Land- wraith kids. Wraith kids. Yeah. Now... Are these half bloods too? That would be. I don't think so. Or are these would be just prisoners? And she just got added. I think she just got added. Okay. Because because I'm thinking like what if she think was such a high profile though? target. Yeah. Why is she just 
there? Why didn't they leverage her? Why didn't they use her? Why didn't they? Well, they didn't show. I mean, now granted, because then, she's also been there. We're we're assuming yeah. maybe another two more years. Probably, because um, she's standing and she's. But well, you in know, school. they originally tried to sell her to Rafe, and so Correct. they didn't show. I assume since now that she's a landfall, they probably got paid handsomely. But I would imagine. Why not keep it or like keep her alive and just see if everything works? I don't know. Scientific people study scientific stuff of in war all the time. They could probably try to find a weak. Well, all those kids probably use them to try to find a weakness or something. True, true. That makes sense. Know. But again, I just I think we've done this with every volume so far, and I think we've been wrong. What do you see is about to happen in the story? I, I stopped, like each time, I've stopped each trying time, to guess. I'm just like, I tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna have a good fucking time. Fuck yeah! I mean, that, this shit hadn't missed yet. No, I and I'm sitting here going, oh, what was my issue? And the only issue is just trying to keep up with time. Oh yeah, just just the the, the, the few quick time jumps. I mean, mm-hmm. other than that, you get Yuma has her redemption story. Yeah, uh, I love how she's dying in the reactor. High fuck. And then just just like you see her eating the can uh, uh-huh. the. I call it a candy bar, but yeah, fade away. Yeah. And she's just like, she died like she was high as fuck. Yeah. No, it's, I mean, I enjoy it. And I'm so glad she did it. Yeah. Instead of Gus. Oh yeah. Because I I love, I I love Gus. Gus But Yuma also needed the kind of the redemption. Yeah. Goodbye. Like get this bitch out of here, but at least make her. (laughs) You didn't like Yuna? Nah. I don't know. She uh, fucked up Hazel's family, man. I think both Alana and pressure. Marco well, were... Well, they did it together. I know. Equally fucking up. Um, I don't know. Uh, but no, I mean, I've, I, this has me about to go spend $150 on collected editions. So. Yeah, I'll probably be uh, not too far behind you. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're in time. You got anything else you want to say? Damn good story. Yeah, it's good. I mean. <laughs> so, like they were saying, you'll see volume six next month. Folks. Hey, uh, look at these two idiots covering Saga like five years after. <laughs> saying, hey, man, this book is good. <laughs> this book is good. <laughs> A little behind all the time. We're going to catch the, the new next, wave. The, next, the next wave, wave. of Saga's back. <laughs> it's like, oh, here's these guys that haven't read it until now. But. Yeah. No, that's good. Uh, next week uh, is something. Uh, we're doing these out of order. Um, go check our Instagram. It'll be there. Check our Twitter, 2 Idiots RC, uh, for both of those. Facebook, 2 Idiots Reading Comics. Uh, it won't be on YouTube, but go ahead and subscribe, 2 Idiots Reading Comics. Yep. Uh, if you're on YouTube, go subscribe wherever you get podcasts. If you just want to listen while we, you drive, I guess. But yeah, um, until then, we'll see y'all next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.